Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. Hello, it's Emmy. Welcome back. Today, I'm going to be making maple syrup taffy with snow. So we just had a huge snowstorm. I have tons of snow outside, so I thought, why not use the fresh snow to test out this recipe that requires maple syrup that you boil down, and then you pour it over fresh snow to create a taffy that you wind onto a stick and you nibble on. So sounds delightful and I've never done it before. So let's go ahead and get started. So the basic concept of this is we're gonna take maple syrup, which is a sugar syrup, and we're gonna cook it down, removing much of the water. So what happens here is the sugar molecules become closer and closer together because you're evaporating a lot of the water out. And as they bump together, they start to form crystals. And as they start to form crystals, that's what makes that structure for candy. So we're gonna cook the syrup to the softball stage, which is about 235 degrees to 245 degrees Fahrenheit. And at this stage, it's about, I think, 96% sugar. And that candy remains kind of soft and pliable and chewy. If you cook it to the hardball stage or the hard crack stage, which is 300 degrees Fahrenheit, you get a candy that's very hard, like candy canes or, you know, hard candies. That's about 99% sugar, very little water. We're going to cook it a little less than that because we want something nice and chewy and soft. So this tradition of making maple syrup taffy is one that is found in the northern climates, not surprisingly, <laughs> places where they actually have maple trees and make maple syrup. Canada, New Hampshire, Vermont. So for those of you that are not familiar with maple syrup, it's a wonderful treat. It's a syrup that's made from maple trees. We pour it on pancakes and waffles. And it takes about 40 gallons of maple sap. The sap is basically the blood of the tree that's tapped out and then reduced. It takes about 40 gallons of sap to make one gallon of syrup. So that's why it's so expensive because it requires a lot of sap and a lot of energy to boil it down. Enough background, let's go ahead and make our maple taffy. I've got myself a saucepan here. We wanna make sure there's enough room in here for the syrup to kind of expand. As it's cooking, it's gonna boil and we don't want it to bubble over. All right, so let me get this on here. Oh. Lighter would be good here. Yeah, a lighter would be good. Um, or, you know, a match, which is a little bit more dangerous, but we live wildly here, don't we? Okay. And I'm going to cook down some syrup. I'm gonna say that's probably a good three quarters of a cup. We're also gonna need a thermometer. And on here, you can see where it says hardball, softball. So I'm gonna cook it to about 240 degrees, which is right about there. So we don't want this to burn, so don't raise the temperature too quickly here. So let's talk a little bit more about sugar. The sugar in maple syrup is mostly sucrose. There is some fructose and glucose in there as well, but it's mostly sucrose. So many children first learned about the maple syrup making process from this book. So this is Laura Ingalls Wilder's Little House in the Big Woods. Some really delightful pictures of grandpa making maple syrup. He's collecting the sap from the maple trees, pulling it with the oxen. And this is grandpa cooking it. It even talks about how he makes the sap buckets and the sap taps. So this is the scene where Laura and Mary make taffy using snow. One morning she boiled molasses and sugar together until they made a thick syrup. And Pa brought in two pans of clean white snow from outdoors. Laura and Mary each had a pan, and Pa and Ma showed them how to pour the dark syrup and little streams onto the snow. We're at 220 degrees. We still have about 20 degrees to go. So I'm going to cut the heat a little bit shy of that because there'll be a lot of heat inertia in there, so it'll continue to rise. So once I get to about 237 degrees, I'm going to cut the heat. All right, so I've got my pan of freshly packed snow right out of my backyard and my cooked syrup. It smells like brown sugar and maple syrup. It smells wonderful. Here we go. Okay. Now, what's happening is the syrup is cooling in the cold snow, and the crystals are starting to form. Now I'm supposed to wait a few moments for this to kind of solidify. Not quite there yet. 
Now I'm taking the stick and I'm going to roll it up. Ooh. How awesome is that? Okay, there it is. Maple syrup concentrated into a candy. All right, here we go. Itadakimasu. my goodness that is so yummy I'm dipping in the ice so it solidifies it's like the best sugar daddy you've ever had because it's cooked to the softball stage it's chewy like a taffy and stretchy yet when you put it in your mouth it just melts it's not trying to pull every single filling you have out of your mouth <laughs> It's still sticky, but it just dissolves and it has the most delicious flavor. And it has that wonderful, familiar, friendly caramel flavor that we all know with a huge burst of maple. It's so stinking delicious. Essentially, you're making pure homemade caramel. Wonderful. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So, Delicious. So in Little House in Big Woods, Laura and Mary make little curly cues. Let's try doing that. So little swirls of it like that. Oh yes. I love it. <laughs> marvelous, 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 marvelous. So there you have it, maple syrup taffy. Wonderful, delightful, super fun to make and scrum diddly umptious. <laughs> I almost forgot to mention that in a previous blizzard that we had, I made snow cream, which is essentially snow ice cream. You just take snow and you add a few little ingredients and you can make your own instant ice cream. So be sure to check out that video up there and there. I'll put the links. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media so you can see what videos are coming up next. And I shall see you in my next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye.